Happy Adar, Birmingham. What would you risk your life for? On Purim, we Jews read about a courageous woman named Esther who was willing to look death in the eye to save her people. Esther's act of going in to see Ahasuerus without warning could have cost her her life, but instead rescued the Jews from annihilation. So why then do we call this holiday Purim? Purim literally means the lottery, referencing the lottery that Haman performed to find the best date for his planned genocide of the Jewish nation. We should call this holiday a name in memory of Esther, or of Mordechai, or how about Ora, the word for light. What the Megillah said the Jews had, the Jews had light, la Yehudim haysa Ora, the Jews had light when they defeated their enemies. Why do we name it after the tool Haman tried to use to destroy us? A common theme in Judaism about how God in the world works is Mida Kineged Mida, or measure for measure. God pays us back for our actions measure for measure. If we do good or bad in a certain way, we receive our reward in the same way. For instance, if we honor our parents, the people who gave us life, God rewards us with long life. Haman knew this, and he tried to make it work for him. Haman thought that the Jews could only beat him if he tried to wage the war with strategy and common sense. He knew how brilliant the Jewish people and the Jewish sages were, and how powerful they were. Surely they would outsmart him if he tried to battle that way. So instead, he waged the battle through chance. Using random numbers, he set the date for the Jewish people's destruction. Jews had escaped from people like Paro, who came up with grandiose plans to kill them. But now that Haman had used the tools of the lottery, a game of risk and randomness, the Jews would not escape. Therefore, Esther had to fight fire with fire. If Haman was going to play the chance game, she knew she had to as well. Esther had to show God and Haman that she was willing to risk death to liberate the Jewish people, even if it meant putting herself at the mercy of the randomness and unpredictability of Ahasuerus' emotions, which, as we know from the first chapter of the Megillah, could be volatile enough to kill his wife. So we call our holiday Purim, not to give a shout out to Haman, but rather to Esther, to show how much we value her act of taking a risk. We all celebrate and affirm to ourselves that in some situations, we may be called upon to take a risk, to trust in God and take the chance on something we love. So let's ask ourselves this prayer. What do we love? There's always something, some goal, or someone in our lives that we'd be willing to take a chance on. So take that chance, jump, trust in God that he will take care of you, just like he took care of Esther and the entire Jewish nation. A happy Freilichen Purim.